Okay, so this is how to deliver a baby. Just remember these five simple steps. The first step, okay, once the head is visible, about five centimeters in diameter, which is also called crowning, and when the perineum is paper thin, apply lidocaine, inject 10 cc's into the pisciotomy area, and lining of the vagina. When you do the pisciotomy, make sure you're doing the right one, so you ask your resident or attending first which one you should do, either median or, medi or medial lateral. Then use banded scissors to cut the perineum after you put inject the lidocaine. Remember to not cut too much. So now you're ready to deliver the baby. Okay, this is step two. Put the dom your dominant hand on the baby's occiput and the other hand under the baby's chin. Remember to not pull too hard. Once the head is delivered, deliver the anterior shoulder. Remember to not pull too hard again because the maternal forces will push the baby out. Ask the mother to push on three. Keep the hand on the occiput while you put the other hand under the chin, then on the anterior shoulder for support. After the anterior shoulder is out, the baby will come out because of the maternal forces. Remember, during the delivery of the fetus, the baby is stopped at two parts. The first part is when the head is passing through the cervix, and the second part is when the anterior shoulder is coming through the pelvis. Once the baby is coming out, just after the anterior shoulder is delivered, put your hand on the fetal back and your, your forearm on the same hand is supporting the occiput of the baby. And the other hand um, is supporting the anterior shoulder as the baby is coming out and then securing the baby's feet in a firm grip once the baby co comes out. The third step is that when the baby is delivered, you have to clamp the umbilical cord with two Kelly forceps. Remember, they have to be one centimeter apart. Just remember that before you clamp the second Kelly forceps, clamp, um, sorry, milk the blood towards the mother. This is important. Okay, the fourth step is when you have to deliver the placenta. Remember, the four stages of delivering the placenta. The first stage is the Kalkin sign, second is the sign and gush of blood, third is lengthening the cord, and the fourth is the rise of the uterus in the abdomen. <laughs> and then apply pressure above the symphysis pubis while you're delivering the placenta. Um, while you're slowly pulling the placenta and coiling the umbilical cord with the clamp every two seconds uh, until the placenta is out. Okay, now we're ready for the last part. You want to use your index finger and middle finger to get a good visual of the mucosa. Remember, it's just like doing a peace sign. And just imagine if this is the mucosa, if that's where the cut is. You want to bite the varco suture one centimeter above where the cut is, like so. And then tie a knot. And then voila, your suture is anchored. Once your suture is anchored, you want to do continuous interlocking on the last bit, but before you suture the last knot, you want to, I'll visu visualize it here in this box, leave a loop like that. And then now you're ready for the second suture. You want to do the figure of eight. Okay. So just visualize this as the mucosa. When you do the figure of eight, you're going to suture here, then here, then here, and then here, and then here, and then here again, and then here, and then here again, and here, and then here, and then here, and then tie it. Sorry for that bad picture. Okay, so now you're ready for the last suture. You want to anchor the suture on the vulva. So, if this is the vulva here, you want to anchor the suture. So you're gonna... So this is the vulva. You're going to suture here, 
and then here, and here, and then here, and then knot. Okay, so once you knot it, your suture is anchored, and then you want to bite downwards with continuous interlocking. Remember, when you suture, get a good visual. Remember to damp the blood before you get a bite. Make sure there's no bleeding. So when you're biting downwards, here, on your last bite, suture here, and then suture here, then pull the suture out. And then now, you're ready to do subcuticular, when you bite upwards, and then not. Now you're done. Now you're finished. But wait. Before you send the mother into the taku, use your index finger and the, your thumb to check for hematomas in the vagina after delivery. You're going to do this three times. After the delivery, then after discharge from the paku, and then after discharge from the wards.